Hey, what is going on guys? Mr. McMods here, and today what I'm showing you guys is my quality and picture settings that I use for my Roxio GameCap HD Pro. Now, this is a semi-highly requested tutorial. I've gotten a few messages about it, and I just thought I'd show it to you guys because I know it can be hard to find the right settings for the game that you are on. So if you guys are watching this video, you probably have or are going to get a Roxio GameCap HD Pro, so you are probably um, familiar with the software, as you know. Um, input here I use HDMI just because it is the best quality and obviously I will use the Axio GameCap HD Pro because what else are you gonna use except you know nobody's gonna use a fucking Axio GameCap the original one because that shit was awful fucking awful okay so now the settings this is the video file format that it puts it out as you know it could be mp4 or whatever but since this is uh, rendering directly out of the software it has to be oh shit it has to be M2TS, which is uh, good. It's just YouTube butchers the quality of it, so I wouldn't use it, and I it doesn't work well in Sony Vegas, so that's that. And then my quality settings, obviously I have the quality up to the highest setting it can go, and then my save to, I just have a folder, and then the prefix, I used raw, so I know it's the raw video, so if we go here. It will save it in here and it'll be raw underscore one and then if I record again raw underscore two. Um, so yeah, I'm now I'm gonna show you my quality my video settings. I use the 1080p HD, this is the highest quality setting you can get to. You uh, you could use 720, that's still good, but obviously oh sorry, my controller vibrated there. But uh, obviously 1080 is better. Um, uh, 720. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. 720. Um, you can if you if your console is at 1080 and you have 1080 here, you can do 720. I don't know why you'd want to, but um, maybe if the file size is a problem for you, as you can see by the almost a thousand gigs, it's not really a problem for me. But if you it only shows up 720, you can't do 1080. What you can do is you can go on your console and go to the display settings and see if you can do 1080 on there. And if you can, then it will show up on here once you set it to that. So yeah, uh, the video bitrate, I have this at 15,000 just because I have a really good computer and it can handle it. If your computer is not the best, I would set it at 14,000, somewhere around there, you know, just go in increments of 500 and test to see what's best for you. Uh, this is where it saves the videos, video location as I said, uh, raw video, I just created a folder that for that in my videos. So that's my actual quality settings and I don't know if you guys saw that, but Every so often, you this will happen to you. Uh, you'll get lines of static. Let's see if we can show that. Um. Let me see. Anyways, any well, I don't, I don't know why it's not doing it now, but. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, okay. So, as you can see, that static that's going through the screen, that is a problem. You will get this every once in a while. What you do is just go to the quality over here and just press the plus sign. It'll go black for a second. Um, that's just refreshing the feed. And as you can see now, we have no more uh, static going through the screen, which that fixes it for a long time. I hardly ever get this issue I'm just glad I got it now so I can show you guys that um, yeah I have my sound off just so you guys can hear that and then you know you can capture a snapshot adjust the audio sa settings I don't fuck with that because I don't use audio anyways and then my quality settings ooh, my picture settings these are what people want to know because I do have really good picture settings for Call of Duty so these are gonna be in the description uh, my brightness is at 120 my hue is at 128 my contrast is at 130 and my saturation is at 140. Now, you may think these are a little high if you play Halo or something, but Call of Duty naturally has a really low brightness and a really low saturation and contrast. You may notice this if you're playing on a, you know, a TV or something or if you if you set these all to the defaults and you just look at the picture, it'll be very white and just the colors will not be deep and rich like you want them to be which is uh, obviously not a good thing so this makes it them deep and rich just like you see on screen and they look really good obviously um, if you can see there so yeah I'm just gonna give you guys an example of what it looks like here so if we start the capture um, I don't know, let's 
Play around a bit, just one sec. Okay, so and we're down, whatever, stop recording. Um as you can see it's done. And now the what you recorded as you know will go in here. So let's just give it a second. There it is, and it'll also go into the file uh here. So this is real number zero. If I record it again and do real one and then real two and then real three. So let's just view it. As you can see it took up my whole screen right here, just because the the uh you, you can't even see all of it because you uh you zoomed out, but it took up the whole screen just because the video file is uh, has such a large frame and width, as you can see here, 920 by 1080. Uh, so that's obviously really good. So that's what we want. And as you can see, the quality. I don't know if you can tell. Shit. The quality is really good. Motherfucker. Uh, on the video. We are going at, I think, 60 FPS, and this is just a really nice video here. I'll upload it this directly to YouTube, so you can see just what it looks like when it's uploaded to YouTube, and the quality is really good. Now, the sound, as I said, I don't mess with that, but the sound is good, too. So, yeah. So, it's all around just a really good setting that I use, guys. I would recommend this if you are going to uh, start using the Roxio Game Cap or whatever you do so to render it out if you want to put it into an mp3 format or an mp4 format uh to upload to youtube or to use in your sony vegas or whatever which is what i do um what you just do is go to the video wave software that it comes with um this is a relatively simple software you can just create your commentaries or whatever in this actually you don't need sony vegas but uh what i do is i just take it drag it in here and then go to export as and then I don't, if you you know save it or whatever, but uh, I'm not gonna save that. And then to export it, you export as video file quality, same as original, just because that will make it really good, just like how it was originally. So then you can you know save it as whatever you want, and then create the video file. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope these settings helped you out, and I hope it will improve your video quality as well. And also, please leave a video response showing me any qualities or any uh, picture settings that you have that you think are good or better than this for any game or whatever. As I said, Halo has really good uh, saturation and whatnot. Um, you know, Call of Duty, it does not. So, on Halo, you would obviously turn these down, and on Call of Duty, turn these up. So, here's the MP4 video that we just. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's the final exploited video. I'm gonna upload this directly to YouTube and just see what, uh, and just so, so you guys can see the quality. So I'll link that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this helped you out, please leave a like, rating, and tell me what you think in the comment section below. I'm Mr. Mods, and I'm out.